am recently married. Yeah. You may, yes, you may applaud. Because most comics die alone, weeping softly into a cracked mirror. And so I am a beacon of hope, and that's why it is exciting. And I've been doing stand-up comedy forever, forever, since women comics would get stage time right before they were burned as a witch. <laughs> Back in the 1600s, I opened for Hester Prynne. <laughs> she had a tight five in the Iroquois. It was great. And I married a man. Huh? <laughs> exciting. I like to tell people, because you know who thinks I'm gay? Almost everyone. <laughs> Could have been, went to college. It's not like I might not know. Um, I met my husband doing online dating. I love online dating because it's a flip and drop down menu option. I am a woman looking for a man to date. Tappity tap, tappity tap, you exchange some emails, you dash off to a Starbucks, you look at each other for the first time, and then one of you goes, no, 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 I have to, and you go home. <laughs> And you do it again and again and again, until you meet someone who isn't horrified by our initial appearance. <laughs> it's really just that romantic. And my husband makes video games for a living. Yeah I, was, yeah, I knew it. I was like, how did you get that job? And he says, it's perfectly obvious how I got that job. I fought my way through several levels. <laughs> and then I killed the boss. <laughs> yes. And I recommend, I tell people, go out with a guy who plays video games. Go out with a guy who collects action figures and reads comic books. Go out with that guy. Marry that guy, because that guy's home right now. <laughs> Dude is around. Yeah. He's got a curio shelf, and he's got to organize his action figures. It keeps him off the pipe. It keeps him off the pole. It's nice. <laughs> But he's a game designer, right? So he'll play any game that you want to play. Paper, scissors, rock, card games, board games, video games, dress up like an elf, go away for the weekend. Dude's dipped. More than once when we were organizing our wedding, he referred to our outfits as costumes. <laughs> he wanted us to dress as pirates and take over another wedding. <laughs> I am not saying that that would not have been fun. I am saying, I am not organizing two weddings, crazy man. And he's like, why would we have to organize a second one? Arr. And, and then we went on our honeymoon, and he wanted us to get matching tattoos. And I'm, I'm not tattoo people. I don't want a tattoo. I said, instead of tattoos, why don't we do what old people do in Wisconsin, where I'm from, when they travel, which is collect those spoons. And he said, oh my god, let's get tattoos of those spoons. <laughs> Where we'll each get a cabinet tattooed on our backs, and then everywhere that we travel, we'll get a different spoon tattoo <laughs> for the rest of our lives. And I was like, wow, I would rather get a plate in my head and collect magnets. <laughs> Rhode Island. And I live here. We live here in Los Angeles. And before I go into it, allow me to make an announcement. I love animals. We all love animals. People are animals. I love people. Uh, when I was a kid in Wisconsin, if you had an old dog or a very sick cat, you would sadly, very sadly, Put the dog down, put the cat to sleep, and that dog or cat would go to happy dog or cat heaven, and you would go to the pound to get a new dog. And it was the circle of life, and it was very beautiful. And that isn't happening in crazy Los Angeles land, where people are like, oh no, the cat's only 17, we're gonna get dialysis. <laughs> are ya? I have a friend of mine who has a cat that's 21, 21 years old, and in addition to the plethora of other problems that this cat has, like it cannot move, it now has diabetes. And so she has to shoot it up twice a day. You know what that is? Time for a new cat. New cat, twice a day, why do you get a cat? So you don't have to do anything, that's why you get a cat. Because it poops in a box and you can go to work. $3,000 for diabetic cat medicine for this cat. You know what that is? 3,000 new cats. <laughs> Cats are free. Yeah. And people get mad at me, and they come up to me, and they say, you don't like animals. And I'm like, no, I don't like you. Because <laughs> you're a jackass about your pet. You get 15, 20 years. That's all you get. I didn't make that rule. If you would like more than that, please do not get a cat or a dog. Turtle, turtle, turtle. Tiny turtle, hat, tutu, carried around in your creepy Paris Hilton purse. <laughs> For like 30 years, it could lift its head up a dorkable giant tortoise that can walk slowly around your backyard. For 300 years. <laughs> and become a burden on your descendants. <laughs> Turtle. Where I go to eat breakfast here in Los Angeles, right next to my breakfast place, there's an animal eye care clinic. Just eye care, uh, just for the animals. I don't have insurance. Let's get mittens some contacts. <laughs> Better now or now? Meow. <laughs> Better now or now? Meow. <laughs> that joke is adorable. Thanks a lot, you guys. That's